Hello! Welcome to the first One Minute Wednesday. Uh, the feedback for this series was pretty positive, so here we are on a Tuesday. But it will go out on a Wednesday. Doesn't necessarily mean you'll watch it on a Wednesday. Eaten into the minute already. Anyway, this mini episode is about destructive changes. In other words, changes that are hard or impossible to get out of after you've made them. Sort of like what I did at the weekend. <laughs> But this episode, like most of them, is about Photoshop generally. So I'm going to talk about the three most common destructive mistakes and how you can avoid them. Number one, using the eraser tool. In five years of nearly daily Photoshop use, I have never had a reason to use the eraser tool. If you want to get rid of something, use a layer mask and paint in black, because then if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it in white, and all is well. You've not lost anything. Number two, not using smart filters. If you don't use smart filters, it's very difficult to make changes to your change after you've done it. The way to use smart filters is to apply filters to smart objects. Now, there are loads of advantages to using smart objects, I recommend them all the time, but smart filters is one of the main ones. Number three, last but not least, never ever ever flatten an image, there's no reason to do it. I know it's tempting when you finish an edit to save space on your hard drive, but if you're looking at an image at a later date and you spot a mistake, or you see an image in print and there's a mistake in it and you want to go back, you don't want to have to start from scratch. So keep all your layers and don't flatten an image. If at the end of your edit you want one layer that includes all the information from the other visible layers, use this shortcut which is the best way to create one layer that houses all the information in the layers underneath it. Okay, no idea if that was anything like a minute long, but uh, thanks for watching, same time next week. Uh